Hi and welcome. I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for taking the time to join me on my website or YouTube channel for another card video. Today I'm sharing two Christmas cards featuring Concord and Knight's Christmas floral stamps and dies. And as always, you can find all the products used in the video linked below or over on my website. So here's a quick look at this gorgeous stamp and die set from Concord and Knight. I love the floral. I love the font. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and get us started with a piece of Strathmore Bristol Smooth Paper in my Misty added anti-static powder to that paper. And I'm going to stamp my image using a wow embossing pad. Now this is an ultra slow drying ink, so it gives you a little bit of time to work. I'm adding ultra fine gold embossing powder to my stamped image. I'm going to lightly tap off any excess, do a little cleanup with a brush, and then we're going to heat set. As always, preheat your gun. It helps reduce the warping of your paper. Keep the heat gun moving so you don't burn the paper or the powder. And then you're just going to chase that melting powder with your heat gun. Now you'll know when it's done because it becomes smooth and dimensional. I'm zooming in for this next part because you, I really want you to see how easy this is. I start by filling in a petal with some clean water. Now this is not watercolor paper, it's Bristol Smooth, so go light with your water application. Um, I'm using my Zig pens in the color Deep Red. I lay some ink down, use a small watercolor brush, and just pull that ink around into the water, leaving some areas lighter than other areas. I'm going to go back in with my geranium red and add a little bit more uh, color to that just to brighten those petals up a bit. Then we're going to add some shimmer with our Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen. I'm going to wrap this painting up with uh, going in with an olive green and adding some ink. Now the leaves aren't very big so you just want to put a little bit of ink on them and then pull it out with your uh, damp brush. I did the berries the same way. I just added some deep red and geranium and moved it around with my water brush a little bit. So here's that second panel and I cut that I colored using that same method as the first, but changing the colors. And I'm adding that Nouveau Shimmer Aqua Pen again. Now I want to let you guys know I am I do not watercolor on a regular basis. This is just me sitting down, having a good time, and just relaxing. So I, that's always what I encourage if you're crafting, is just to have fun with it. Also, I use the Wow Clear Sparkle Embossing Powder on that second panel, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Here's a quick look at the colored panels, and we're going to run those through our big kick using those coordinating dies, and we're going to make a shaker card out of the second watercolor panel. We're going to use card stocks. My colors think pink and Simon says stamp fog to create our card bases and we're going to cut and score those to create four and a quarter by five and a half inch card bases. I'm going to add some interest to the card bases before adding those watercolored panels. So I stamp Concord and Knight's woven stripe pattern using my wow embossing pad on that think pink card stock. And I'm going to use the Simon set says fog ink on the fog cardstock. So for our shaker card, we're going to use Hero Arts 3 inch by 4 and 3 quarter inch acetate sheet, and we're going to trim it down to fit the back of this panel. Then we're going to add some 3D mounting foam to the back of that um, over the acetate, making sure we leave no gaps there. We're going to cut a piece of white cardstock to cover the back of our shaker just so those gray stripes don't show through. We add our sequins, we cover up the back with that white cardstock, and then we add some adhesive to it and adhere it to our card base. Shakers really are so easy to make once you get the hang of them. Okay, so for the next card, we're just going to keep this one real simple. We're just going to add mounting foam to the back of that watercolor panel, and then we're going to center it on our card base. I do want to uh, um, do a little bit more stamping for sentiments to go with the Christmas sentiment on our card. Sorry about that. So I stamp May Your Be Bright on a piece of vellum for my shaker card. And then again on the Think Pink cardstock. Now I'm using a Wow Embossing Powder and Fluorescent Tickled Pink on the vellum. It's 
gorgeous. And then that ultra fine gold um, embossing powder on the Think Pink. I'm going to use Gorilla Glue Clear mounting tape on the back of the vellum. You won't be able to see that through that vellum. We're going to adhere those sentiments and then white foam strips to add the sentiments to that Think Pink card. We're going to finish this off with some clear moonshine confetti from Simon Says Stamp. So I believe that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired enough to head into your crafty space and create something amazing today. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. And if you could hit the like button, that would be awesome. I would like to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my website where you can find videos and blog posts in one spot. As always, know I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And until next time, my crafty friends, keep crafting.